Did you ever wonder who is the boss of Saturn? <laughs> boss. <laughs> Planets also have a boss. Oh, well, yes, they do. Every planet has a boss. Who's the boss? The boss is the Vishnu avatar representing that particular planet. For example, for Shani Dev, for Saturn, it's none different than Kurma Dev. Now, who is Kurma Dev? Kurma Dev is one of the avatars of Vishnu, prominently known as one of the Dasha avatars. Well, Lord Vishnu has so many avatars. It's not just, you know, 10, 15, 20. They are unlimited, numerous avatars, as <coughs> the Srimad Bhagavatam says, right? Eteh cha amsa kala pumsa. So, what does this mean? This means that, in short, the planet just simply represents the materialistic side of what that avatar represents. Just to understand, you know, in, in a layman's terms, okay? So that means if you want to actually understand what Saturn is, or if you want to understand what Capricorn and Aquarius is, then you need to understand the story of Kurma Dev. Without that, you will not understand. Now you may ask, oh, but I just want to know, you know, what Saturn will do in, you know, my 5th house, 6th house, 7th house, 8th house, 10th house. What will Saturn do if it is exalted? You know, for me, it's in 9th house of Navamsha, it's, you know, in 12th house of Dashamsha, so and so, blah, blah, blah. I'm not interested to know. What will I get out of this? Kya <laughs> milega? That is very important for us to know because if you don't have the motivation to understand what actually Saturn is, then what will happen? I'll give you my brutally honest opinion. You will see, suppose you have Saturn in the 10th house, you will see maybe 500 videos made by different YouTubers. Okay, Saturn in 10th house, this happens, that happens. Okay, But you will never, ever, ever be able to figure out what is it doing in your chart because your chart is very specific. So therefore, first understand the avatar, then only there you will understand what Saturn is, right? So we know the uh, story of Kulmadev is very important because it shows a very uh, pivotal part of a uh, pivotal period in the creation of Rahu and Ketu also, right? So, Samudra Manthan Leela started. Samudra Manthan is, Samudra is the ocean. It is not this salt water ocean. It is another ocean which is present in another part of the Bhuloka basically. <clears throat> so, in that ocean, there was the churning okay so they had to churn now why 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 did they want to churn this so that nectar would come out so we will discuss saturn capricorn and aquarius all the three in this okay so for the nectar to come out you have to churn the ocean when you churn it you know the nectar comes out okay so they uh, they means the devatas and asuras combined now who told them to do this uh, lord vishnu himself uh, instructed uh, the devatas that devatas and the asuras that go and churn a lot of things will come out so when they started churning what happened uh, with the mountain and with nagraj vasuki so they started you know churning this ocean then what happened initially the halahal poison came out okay but what was happening is they were not able to churn it. Why? Through the mountain because it was very instable. Okay. There was, uh, it was not stable. There was instability there. And therefore, they needed a strong base. Now, who provided that base? Nobody could provide. So, what happened was Lord Vishnu himself expanded as if. Uh, as a tortoise, okay, tortoise or turtle, whatever you call. So then, what happened was, Lord Vishnu expanded as this uh, Ulma Dev, and then he went below the mountain, and on top of him, the mountain was there. Okay, <clears throat> and then of course he also uh, expanded as you know, Sastra Shesha Purusha, and from the top with this thousand hands, Sastra Shesha Purusha is like you know, thousand hands. No, uh, he was holding the mountain, okay, and then the churning. So from top and from bottom, he was giving the stability, and then the churning was going on. And then gradually, we know what happened. You know, like 
first uh, the poison came out halahal and then they went to lord shiva they requested him and out of compassion for the whole world he took the halal poison and then you know, a lot of things came out you know like uh airavat came out then lakshmi devi came out you know, and then uh, dhanvantari came out and then at the end we have the uh, presence of nectar which came out and then uh, when the nectar came out uh, lord vishnu disgu disguised as mohini murti and uh, he took away this <clears throat> nectar okay from the demons of course and then she distributed it to the devatas and uh, she pretended to distribute it to the to the to the asuras but she actually did not nonetheless but you need to understand about kurmadev so what does this mean what was the what was the circumstance what was the situation which led to the incarnation of kurmadev now incarnation is not the best word for uh is not the best translation for the word avatara because incarnation means uh, one who comes into karna which is you know flesh but krishna says in gita right janma karma ch me divyam evam yo vetti tattvataha right tektva deham punar janma naiti mameti sorjuna so krishna says uh, in, in many more than one places in the bhagavad gita that you know uh, i am divine my activities my janma karma my birth and activities are divine okay and krishna also says in another place namam karmani limpanti okay so therefore uh, lord krishna is above material energy he does not take birth in a material body he appears okay like he appears sometimes as krishna himself sometimes he appears as ram sometimes he appears as narsimha sometimes he appears as kurma dev so what does this mean this means there was an emergency and there is some problem of stability okay now if you try to visualize the samudra manthan lila what comes to your mind you know we have this photo you know like the mountain is here and you know the devatas are this side the asuras are this side and they are you know trying to balance which is the sign that represents this it is the sign of libra right and which is the planet get that gets exalted in the sign of libra you guessed it right it is saturn so therefore this means that saturn the the libra energy it's like you know trying to balance the devas and the asuras are trying to balance okay this this is exemplified by kurma dev and the samudra manthan lila and because of that what happens is whenever your saturn dasha starts or sade sati starts you know it is like there is a there, there, there is like a crisis which comes and you are now trying to balance okay you are trying to balance the good and the bad okay so which means you are trying to uh, not uh, you are trying your best to not destroy yourself because of that crisis through that crisis you are trying to protect yourself and then what happened is uh, nobody could help you nobody could help the asuras or, and, and the devatas and then lord vishnu had to come okay so therefore uh, if you are in saturn antardasha mahadasha or uh, sare sati or any you know like kantak shani ashtam shani whatever any any difficult transit of saturn or dasha or if you are not in saturn dasha but your saturn is badly placed in the horoscope okay then you have to you should chant this mantra om namo narayanaya this will help you okay so now when you chant this mantra it is like kurma dev is coming and he will give you the stability there are other mantras of kurma dev also you can chant but this mantra is also good enough okay om namo narayanaya so this means capricorn will represent the initial foundation the Cap the sign of capricorn shows that something has to be done something has to be built and it is like a extraordinary uh, circumstance which means if you have a planet in capricorn suppose you know venus is in capricorn let me give you an example it could happen that during venus dasha you encounter such a situation which nobody has seen before okay and you are wondering oops how the hell should i solve it okay so whenever you are you have a planet in capricorn or aquarius we'll come to aquarius <laughs> no or saturn dasha so either saturn antar or maha dasha or a planet in capricorn or aquarius in all the three situations you should chant this mantra if you are having difficulty then kurma dev will come and help you okay now this means the sign of capricorn shows that 
without you doing something, there is no further possibility of advancement. And this is very important because when Saturn Dasha is going on, you may feel like procrastinating sometimes, okay? But you need to understand, imagine the Sagar Manthan is going on like this, you know, the mountain is going like this, like this, and uh, Purva Dev is not there. What happens? Uh, it's a waste of time, right? So therefore, whenever you are in Saturn Dasha or Sare Sati or whatever is going on in your life, <laughs> if you are trying to, you know, procrastinate, delay and, you know, like uh, beat around the bush, you know, and pretend as if it's fine, you will only waste time, okay? So therefore, please understand that when Saturn Dasha comes or Sare Sati comes, there will be a situation where you, you, you cannot evade it. You, you cannot just not do it, okay? You cannot avoid that under any circumstances. So you will have to do, you will have to do the hard work. Okay, so always have this prayerful mood. You know, imagine you are one of the devatas or the asudas, <laughs> and the mountain is going like this. You know, it's like uh, this is like the mountain is going like this, like this. You know, so what do you do? So do exactly what they did. You know, they went to uh, Lord Vishnu and they prayed. Okay, and then when you prayed, uh, Vishnu appeared as the tortoise, and then what happened? There was stability. So that means now when you do the war. With the blessings of uh, Kurma Dev, now there is stability. This mountain is like your life. And, you know, the the Vasuki, Nagaraj, Vasuki, the snake, not snake actually, like higher beings, uh, you could say they are like snakes, you know, for us to understand, but they are very, very elevated, okay? They are not like Sarpa. The snakes in uh, our Prithvi, our earth, they are known as Sarpa, okay? So they are not Nagas, you know, Nagas are very elevated beings, okay? And Vasuki is the Raja of the Nagas, okay? That is why he is known as Nagraj Vasuki, okay? So, therefore, <clears throat> you have to understand that uh, when the foundation is built, then comes Capricorn. So, if you see, which is the house of foundation in the chart? So, 10th house, right? And in uh, Hindi or in India, what do they say? Apne butno pe khada hona. You never hear, they will say, you know, apne pet pe khada ho, apne... Uh, whatever, you know, apne hato pe khada ho. they will always say, apne kutno pe khada ho gaya hai. that means this person has become independent now, this person has job or, you know, is now able to take care of himself or herself. So, Capricorn also represents your ability to do things yourself. A person who has a strong Saturn can take up challenges and complete that, them, okay? So, once, once this is done, uh, then comes Aquarius. So after that, what happened? The entire Leela kind of progressed, okay? So then the dev Devatas, uh, the Asuras, they continued the Sagar Manthan, then the Vish came out, and then, you know, gradually Amrit came out, right? So this means, if you build the foundation right, then you will go to the next level, which is, you know, success and lot of good things coming out. Because, see, when Sagar Manthan happened, it was not just, you know, the nectar. There were so many other good things which came out, you know, like jewels and so many other things. Aravat also, which uh, Indra took as his, you know, celestial uh, vahan, okay? It's like, you know, it's like your carrier, okay? Mm -hmm. Very, very, very powerful elephant. So, uh, this uh, this Aravat is another example of, you know, like an 11th house is originally Capricorn. So, what is, you know, 11th sign rather, you know, it is, you know, success, name, fame, all the good things you are getting, you know, all praises and all this, right? <clears throat> so, a planet in Aquarius may force you to work together in teams, okay? Otherwise, uh, you may feel that, you know, it's kind of not working, okay? So, whenever Aquarius is involved, suppose you have any planet in Aquarius, you have to work in teams and you have to work for something bigger than yourself. This is very, very, very important. Now, if you if you don't, then you will feel that you know you are left out okay, in life. So therefore, always um, work in a way that you can benefit yourself and also benefit others. Okay, and then at the end you get the nectar, and nectar is like something which makes you immortal. Okay, so in your context, you can think of something like you know. You have a legacy, you have done something great and, you know, everybody remembers you. It's like you are uh, not living anymore, but you are living through your legacy. It's like that. You are also Amar, okay? Of course, the word Amara does not mean uh, immortal. 
Amara means one who stays till one manvantar. Okay, this is the meaning of Amara. And Chiranjivi means one who stays till one day of Brahma. And Nitya are the ones who are like kind of living eternally. Okay. So nonetheless, we can think of Amara in our context as, you know, leaving a great grand legacy behind and nobody is able to forget us, right? For good or bad. <laughs> Primarily for good things. Okay. So therefore... Uh, please read more about this. Please read about Bali Maharaj. Please read more about, you know, uh, about Kurma Dev. You can chant mantras related to Kurma Dev. You can do worship. You know, unfortunately, not uh, many temples are available in India for Kurma Dev. But even if you can't find, please chant Om Namo Narayanaya. This will help you. All right. So I hope you got a uh, good gist of. What could happen if there are planets in uh, Aquarius or Capricorn and how you should approach this and what you should do when you have problems. And do not forget Libra, do not forget um, Aquarius and do not forget Capricorn, right? So pray to Kurma Dev to protect you when Saturn Dasha or any other uh, Dasha comes away if that planet is in Capricorn or Aquarius. And especially if it's in Aquarius, think of everybody, okay? Just don't think of yourself, all right? Thank you so much. Please take care. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and for personalized consultations, the website is down below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this and God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him for sure. Jai Siya Ram.